Okay, let's have a quick look at the interface um, and some of the things that you can use. So up here on the top left, you can see that we've got three icons. Um, if we click on the plus sign, you'll notice that it will reveal all the sliders. Um, this can come in handy if that's the way you want to work. Um, and in the middle here, if you click on the minus, that will minimize all the sliders, as you can see here, which you can then continue to open them. You can actually click on each slider and open them as well. And then if you X out, that will actually close them all, which is, is handy when you've been making a pose and then you want to start again. Just bear in mind that when you do close all the sliders, it will still hold the positions on your pose, so you won't lose anything and you can start again. Um, another great feature up here is with the Avatars tab, if you double click it, it will actually collapse it. So you can still use it if you click on avatars, you can actually use something, for example, I'll put it in T-Stance, and then as soon as you use it, it'll collapse again. And if you want to pin it again, then you will double click on it, and it will pin the ribbon again. And just up here on the right of the small icons, you've got a little drop down. And if you choose show below the ribbon, You'll notice that now the icon's down here, which I actually prefer um, because they're a little bit closer to the working area. So that's a couple of things to help you with that side of it. And let's have a quick look at the base poses. So when you apply a Pandora enabled avatar, for example, now I've got Chaos on. If you once once you apply them, this base poses uh, panel will actually show up here, and all you need to do is click on it and then it will reveal the base poses, which are poses that I've pre-made with the actions on the avatar, um, which you can activate. So and it's very simple. You can use a scroller here, and you can go through the different poses. And if you want to activate a pose, you simply just click on the picture. And then what will happen is that will activate the pose over here, as you can see in the window. So it's very simple. You've got different categories here. Um, there's quite a few in here to start with and once you have a base pose activated you can then actually go ahead and use the sliders to tweak for example on this pose we'll just uh, we'll grab the head here and we'll put it down in the front and there you go you can see that you can adjust the head so you can basically customize all the base poses as well so that's basically all you need to know. Oh, one other thing is also is this actual main poser window here. You notice there's a little um, pin here. If you actually click on that, that will actually unpin it. So, which is great for when you're in chat because then it gives you more room. And if you just roll over and don't click, just over here, you'll see that it will reveal it again if you take it off. So you can do this, and then you could double click on that and unpin that. And you basically Pandora is you know, not even hardly noticeable, and you have all the room for chat, so just some uh, interface basics, enjoy.